Hello, my name is Jim McKeith and I'm a developer evangelist for Rim Object Software. This overview of Delphi Prism in the Visual Studio IDE is part of our Rim Objects TV video series. I've just installed Delphi Prism and I'm going to go ahead and launch it for the first time. Brings up the Visual Studio IDE and you'll notice it's launching the Shell Edition. This is because I previously did not have any version of Visual Studio installed. When it first comes up you're presented with this welcome screen. The welcome screen checks for updates for all the RIM Objects products installed. It also displays any RIM Object products that are installed in the Visual Studio IDE. RIM Objects provides the Oxygen compiler and IDE integration that power Visual Studio. We also provide Internet Pack, which is a managed code TCP IP component suite. You can click either of these bars to bring up an information screen about that product. This information screen has three areas I want to share with you. The first lets you click to watch an introduction video. This is the video you're currently watching. There are other videos available at this link as well. You can also visit the product wiki. The product wiki provides all the documentation you need about Delphi Prism. The good thing about the online version is it is constantly being updated. Also, and probably the most important, is the Sample Project Browser. It's split up by category so that you can view samples of a specific category. The Language category has the most samples in it, and to view a sample, either double-click it or click it and select Open Sample, and that will open the sample in the IDE. Once the sample is open, you can use the Solution Explorer to view the code for that sample. One thing I like to do is to go to the folder that the samples are contained in, which is Users, Public, Documents, Delphi Prism Samples, and back up that folder so that if I make a change, the original is still available. You can do that with an archive, making a copy, or putting it in your source control system. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Delphi Prism comes with a number of installed templates for you. The mono templates are for creating cross-platform applications. These applications will run under the mono framework. Windows Forms applications use the Windows Forms that come with .NET. GTK Sharp uses the native Linux widgets which are also available cross-platform. If you're planning on targeting multiple platforms, this is the best choice to use. Class library is for a DLL that will be used by other applications, and of course a console application. If you want to target only the Mac OS X, then choose one of these projects here. Mon Object C applications target Mac OS X using native Mac OS widgets. All of these projects create an application bundle ready for deployment on Mac OS X. Silverlight is for creating rich internet applications. These are similar to Flash, except they're powered by your favorite .NET language, Delphi Prism. They run on Windows and Mac OS X, thanks to the Silverlight plugin provided by Microsoft, and with the Moonlight plugin provided by the Mono Project, they'll run on Linux as well. You can create ASP.NET web applications, and Windows WPF or Windows Presentation Foundation applications, which use the vector-based widget library available from Microsoft as part of .NET. Windows Form applications are the standard Windows applications using the native Windows widgets. Class libraries are DLLs for use by other applications. Windows services are services that run inside Windows. You can choose what version of the .NET framework you want to target with any of these projects. When you've decided what project you want to create, provide the project with the name. By default, the project and solution have the same name, but you can change the solution name if you like. Or reuse an existing solution. This is the location where this project will be created. Over here in the Solution Explorer, we see the new solution we created. Our solution contains one project. The project contains multiple files. The program.pass file is similar to the DPR file in a Delphi application. 
Notice it also has an application.run. Main.pass has three files in it. The resource file, resx file, the main.pass, which is the user code, and the main.designer.pass, which is similar to the DFM from Delphi. The main.designer.pass has two views available to you. It has the design view and the code view of the same file. This is the code generated by the Windows Designer to represent the visual design surface. To navigate between the design surface and the user code, click View Code, and then to go back, click View Designer. To add a new method to a class, you can use Control Space to override an ancestor method or type the name of the method you want and then use Control Shift C just like in Delphi Native. These commands are available from the keyboard from the right click option, class completion, go to implementation, go to interface, or from the Delphi Prism toolbar. Navigate between interface and implementation. Once you're ready to start writing some code, you're probably going to want to include some references to other assemblies. In Delphi Native, we just add it to the Uses clause, a reference to the other unit. In order to do this in Delphi Prism, you need to add a reference. Click on the .NET tab to reference an assembly in the Global Assembly Cache. Sort it by component name, and then type the first letter of the assembly you're looking for. In this case, Rim Objects Internet Pack. Click Add, and then click OK. This didn't change our Users clause, but over here in References, you'll see it now references Internet Pack. So now I can come down here and create a new variable, new, control space, HTTP, client, and then hit Enter. And that will create a new instance of the HTTP client class. Now if I'm referencing this class multiple times, I don't want it to necessarily include the entire namespace. I can get around that with the Uses clause. Simply copy the namespace, come up here, add a uses entry, and paste the namespace there. Now, it will look for this class in this namespace or any of the other namespaces in the uses clause. This will retrieve our home page. Another useful feature of the Visual Studio IDE is the navigation bar, which you can reach by pressing Control F2. It's this bar up here, you'll notice now it's highlighted. It allows you to select from any of the classes or parts of the source file, and then select from the individual methods of that class. It makes for easy navigation. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Visual Studio IDE with Delphi Prism. For more information or for more videos in this series, please visit rimobjects.com slash TV. Thank you.